what is the realest conversation you've had recently? Yesterday, I had a real ass conversation with somebody that I was involved with. Oh uh, fuck! My bad. This time last year, uh-huh. and this was like the first time that we had a face to face conversation since this mm. time last year, mm. and we had to work together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's already like I'm not. That's not gonna let uh, you know nothing personal is gonna spill over and mm-hmm. shit. But I think uh, real conversations were being had yesterday because a lot of time has passed since things happened, and you grow a lot. You learn how to communicate your needs better because mm-hmm. that's what that's what it be. It's communication. That's what it be. The I learned don't know I, how to communicate I, I what rec- they want. Bro, I recently learned that's my biggest problem, bro. Yeah, it's communication. You just learned that. Well, I'm. I, it's like it's like I've always known it, but like it's crippling. It's not even like a. It's not even like a thing that like I can live with at this point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's actually crippling. Like you, 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 you learn to live with certain uh, downfalls and shortcomings. Yes. But certain ones you can't really accept. And I feel like for the longest time I was accepting of my lack of communicate or my you know improper communication skills. But like yeah, it's, it's it gets in the way of life. You know it does. And I think that what made the conversation uh, productive yesterday was the fact that this person has grown so much from what I thought they were going to overlook and just accept as a part of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, accountability. That's what it sounds like. Uh, You know what I mean? Mm. Like, we're at that age now where we're being honest about our growth and our deficiencies. You feel me? Like, we don't have no choice at this point. You know, we're not children. So, you have choices to make. And that shit is up to you. You feel me? So, there's Mm -hmm. no more like, oh, that's how I was raised. That's just how I am. You sound dumb. You sound dumb. Sound childish. I won't say dumb, but you sound childish. You know how I know how you feel about me using the c word, so I don't like to. I, I'm trying to stop calling people childish. I say that general. because I say that because I had a real conversation recently mm-hmm. about how a lot of what we do we learned as children. So mm-hmm. it's not even saying that you're like a child. You're just still it's childlike. Acting. Yeah, it's childish. Like it's not. I'm not saying that to call anybody a child. It's just right now you're acting. In the same manner of what you learned as a child. So, what else? You're not I, def- I definitely you know use the word in the same context. Yeah. I I just know for a fact that that's not how niggas hear that. Oh, shit. facts. But who and I, that's who, exactly yeah. that. That's exa- I feel like yeah. that's exactly what everyone means when they say somebody's childish. Because I could just say you're a child. If well, I, nobody ever wants to hear that, especially when they're being childish. They don't want to hear that. I, yeah, there's just yeah. better ways to hold people accountable in the moment than you know, labeling them mm-hmm. in general. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, accountability. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that, you know, the people that we're even working with and I'm, you know, I, I'm glad that I'm living a life that's attracting people to me who can hold themselves accountable and hold me accountable mm-hmm. so that we can have, like, no pride in the relationship, you feel me? We can just, you know, choose to share space, let's exist. You know, during the pandemic, it's a whole wave of people right now that are choosing to be, like, non-ethically, no, what's it called? Ethically non-monogamous, like, everybody's just... Excuse me? <laughs> it's English. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Get up, I've, I've never heard that. Term. Yeah, ethically <laughs> not. <nominal. laughs> <laughs> this thing of family just said. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ethically, yeah. Like ethically like, non. So that is being non monogamous, but being with ethical. with ethics okay. involved. Okay. You gotta be ethical what about ethics, it. <laughs> what, eth- what ethics are involved in being non monogamous? So, I would love to hear this. I've so never, so I, I think this. the ethics come in because okay, if we take the ethics out of it, just saying you're non monogamous, you can be promiscuous, you could be disingenuous about your relationships with people, you could be backhanded, you could be a finesser. I think I think yeah, I think honesty and vulnerability is like what I'm, honesty and vulnerability is literally what makes. Yeah. You being non-monogamous, okay, if you are capable yeah. of being honest and vulnerable. You know, like, it's been said, if you can't get what you want without lying, it's not worth getting. It's not worth getting, and, yeah. you, just, and, it's, and, and you just might not need that. Facts. You might be doing too much to get Yeah, you to might be doing too much. I ain't, yeah, you might be doing too much. So that's where the ethics come in, is that, like, you're not being negligent. You're not, like, you're going about it as an adult, you feel me? Hmm. Um, but you're saying that you're not interested in monogamy because, you know, people aren't for possession, Hmm. you know, they're here to be experienced. And honestly, the way that I've been able to, you know, uh, adopt this mindset is I just think about, okay, why am I here in this person's life? I'm here because I fuck with you. You fuck with me as well. You respect me and we show each other love. And I'm here for your, like, enjoyment. You feel me? Hmm. How how pride can kill this shit Mm -hmm. is 
when that person's enjoyment is coming from another source. Yes. See? Yes. Bruh. Uh, uh, damn, so if you remember why real. you're here, that's how your pride But can reasons be. change and seasons change. No. And all of that can be communicated. Yeah. I just, you know, all of that, all of what you're saying works, you know. With, Between uh, adults. With, with, but also works with boundaries. You understand yes. what I'm saying? So the closer you get to part... somebody, sooner or later, you're not going to give a fuck. Like, you're going to be like, dog, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I, I need that. Yeah, I need that. I and, need I need, that. and I need nobody else to have it. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, so, so, that's, okay. Sooner or later, that's what it gets to. No, you. it doesn't. So, so part of the ethics, mm -hmm. ethic, 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 ethically mm -hmm. non Monogamous. No, but what I'm saying is that changes. People, well, no, people no, no, change no. from being wanting to do that to not wanting to do well, that. Well, so so a part of the conversations that have to happen in the beginning are about boundaries. And yeah. those don't happen until it's way too fucking yeah, late. Facts, 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 facts. Because all you do is, oh, I fuck with you. You fuck with me. Let's, just Let's do fuck it. with each other. We're going to figure it out. Especially because if you have taste and you're dealing with attractive people and you're attractive yourself, that shit gets a, you some passes when it comes to your behavior. Let's just be honest. Oh, that's fact. And when you deal with somebody that's fine... You be giving them fucking passes. Yeah. So you get two, three months down the road and you had one list of criteria over here and they had their list and an argument happens and that's what causes y'all to say, okay, nigga, what's your criteria? Nick? And now y'all have y'all criteria like this two, and y'all like, what the fuck? Thanks. You like that shit? Thanks. Oh, if I knew that, I wouldn't even have fuck with your crust yet. But you could have had that conversation three months ago. And y'all could still be men to this day, but the boundaries conversations and a lot of conversations just be happening way too late into the game, bro. Had it just happened in the beginning, if niggas, you know, again, aren't prideful, you're honest, you're capable of being vulnerable, you're capable of holding yourself and others accountable, you can have a conversation with niggas. It's just talking. It's a young man's game, man. I think I'm... Damn. Oh, no, the streets is done. Yeah, bro. It's really This like is all theory style. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this is theory stuff. We're really just talking to our younger audience. You know what I'm saying? To, I'm talking to, 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 to trying to teach the children. A younger me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's like the new way for it. And I really I know I was actually talking to a couple of the models and shit yesterday about it. And you know, that at least that mentality has helped uh, a lot of people I know foster better relationships, you know, romantic or otherwise, because they just approach with that, you know, vulnerability, those conversations about boundaries, you feel me? Like that salad, that's foundation for a productive relationship, no matter what. Like if it's at work, you feel me? Like I whatever. I would love to hear like uh, a perspective from somebody that doesn't live in Maryland, D.C. or Virginia, mm -hmm. in terms of like that conversation. Oh, okay. You okay. feel like something is local to the region? Well, it's interesting you say that. I'd like to bring back a segment. Okay. What's in my pocket? Hmm. Damn. Yes. What's in my pocket? Um. So yeah. So I don't not, remember this game. You don't remember this game? There's an app. Oh, called, I remember an app called Pocket O because yeah. Pocket was like it helps you like save. Exactly. Um, this is not an ad though. It's not an ad. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, but it's like it's like <laughs> shit that I see during the week that like you pocket it. You yeah. put it in your pocket. Exactly. Yeah. Until it's time to talk about it. So um, recently I saw that Maryland is <laughs> is like number three in the nation in terms of pr pr promiscuity. How do you quantify that? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Um, they. <laughs> They. I took stats, nigga. Yeah, actually, it's right here. The article's right here. <laughs> actually, it's right here. You want me to read it? Yes. All right, but I'm going to be quick with it, man. So, uh, Maryland has been added to another internet list, earning a dubious distinction among the nation's most promiscuous states. Maryland registered a number three ranking, according to the list just behind Alaska, number two. <laughs> Hey. Who would have ever fucking thought? But they what bored, the though. fuck else are you going to do exactly. in Alaska? Exactly. And it's cold, and so you might need to warm up. Anchorage? You yeah. been to Anchorage? Yeah. You, you been to Anchorage? Nah, you have? Never, never, never. never <laughs> yeah, never. nigga ain't shit nah. to go out there to do. I heard it's... Yeah, no, you know what number one is? I heard it's really Anchorage, though. Oh, them niggas get busy. Have you seen... You, they? It's a big-ass drug game in Alaska right now, bro. <laughs> that, that white. <laughs> that H. Allegedly, so I heard. Number one is unexpectedly Mississippi. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that is. I get it, because they fucking cousins. Okay. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last joke that we made about any of the states uh, further in this document because Virginia up next, and I don't even want to talk about Virginia. <laughs> Virginia was number 22, though. Oh, they weak as shit. But yes, Yahoo <laughs> compiled the list. So let's figure out how they got these numbers. Yahoo compiled it's the actually list very interesting. by examining the number of ash. <laughs> 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 
Yahoo compiled the list by examining the number of Ashley Madison users per 100,000 people. So yeah, per Which is uh, the biggest dating app in the in the in the in the United States. Yes, Ashley so, Madison for those who didn't know. That shit is hilarious. As well as looking at data uh compiled by the CDC for its most recent sexually transmitted disease reports. They also took into account the median income got to mm-hmm. cuz cuz niggas getting money <laughs> Have money for dates. Because niggas is because <laughs> niggas get money. But that's the thing about let's talk about let's talk, let's about, talk about the the market on pussy right now. Let's talk about the market. Cause when when Whoa. when because you still we talking about in, medium income, right? And I'm sure there was something productive after what I was saying, but this is a podcast, so we're gonna talk about what I want to talk about. I love when somebody else talks when, spicy. I love what I'm not okay, I'm listening. I'm like listening. when you up, we talk about this all the time. Uh-huh. Cause you're talking about rich niggas uh-huh. and their choices. Uh-huh. Right? But even when you down, bro, and you not up, he's still gonna do it. <laughs> Yo, you know, certain things in this life just aren't ever going anywhere. No matter how your life changes, it's not going nowhere, bro. <laughs> and and if he got five dollars on him, he gonna spend and, two on pussy. And those th- two on a beer. <laughs> nah, and those things, <laughs> and those things, man, you you can't you can't chase them. Facts, facts, facts. Because if they're always be there, that means you could spend your rest your of last life month, your last dollar on it. Facts. <laughs> So I'm curious to see how the median income affected the rating because I'm tr- I'm thinking all the tax every tax bracket. <laughs> it says it also it's, it also took into account median income, citing a JAMA report showing that people who had higher income were generally more sexually active because you just have more money to go out and be in the streets. It's like yes, but there's also an argument for sex as a leisure activity. Yeah. But that's or, like the know, median. Even stro- okay, that's this the is like. Adding on to the media. So this is so this, so the niggas in Alaska is getting money. That's what I'm trying to say. And, and, and they fucking. Yeah, man. Sheesh, man. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say, man, uh, be safe if you live in uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia, man. It's a lot going on. But also, like, I feel like even like when our cousin came, she 